the truck. Get in the truck. Come on. We gotta go get you some shots. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, boy. We're here. Where, boy? What is it? Huh? What you looking at, boy? Doctor. Uh oh, got you. Fire hydrant there. What you gonna do? Come on, get out of that. Okay, oh, we'll have to edit that. Yeah, they'll take care of you. All right, boy, we're done over at the vet. Go in here and get us a soda. Get cooled off a little bit. Got the AC blowing in here real good. Might have to get charged, take a look, not a peek at it. Huh? Okay, y'all, today we have an assortment of chores. We gotta finish the deck. So let me work my sculpture. Y'all, before I could do my putty, and I uh, had to come out here and help mom do a little trimming here. I'm gonna knock that one, see that one, that great big one there, I'm gonna knock it down. It grows like wildfire. So, all right, y'all. Y'all, I've, uh, you know, mom's the garden department here, but, uh, you know, I'll trim the trees and do all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we got that one over there trimmed up real nice right underneath that one. that kind of broke my ladder out and did the Ed Edward Scissor hand thing to it. Mom's spreading uh, pine straw there. That's what she likes using as mulch instead of going up to Home Depot and buying, you know, those what three or four dollar bags of mulch. We got we got plenty of pine straw. So it actually dresses it up pretty nice. I, I might get a shot of that after she gets done with it. But uh, yeah, we got her all shaped up real nice and neat. So let's get a shot over here. I'll take this to the next level over here, guys. Let's see. That's where I started at earlier. But, uh, got that, got those shaped up pretty good. So. All right, y'all. Yeah. Now it's time to get back to the deck. Man, heck of a video today. We got Sarge going to the to the vet, getting shots and doing some Edward Scissorhand stuff. And now we're going to get back on the uh, carpentry. Okay, y'all. We done broke out the, the sanding gear here. Got my Dewalt uh, orbital sander there. Got my Ryobi uh, detail sander. Of course, we got the Makitas out. Bought me some new wood filler, and uh, this time I went uh, took it to the next level with the screws. There, economy sized. <laughs> hey y'all, we're back to the deck and rail here, and uh, you know how earlier we took and we put 45s here, and we put 45s down there, and then we actually took and put. Uh, uh, two before's underneath our safety rail. So we 45'd our rail uh, to our six by six to strengthen it, 45'd our rail to our six by six down here to strengthen it, and then we took uh, blocks, 10, 10 inch uh, two before blocks, and we secured our rail. Now, <clears throat> I got to thinking a little further that, uh, you know what, we did take the 10 inch blocks right here. I actually need to anchor some more screws into here, here, and here, and then this will all be one structure. Y'all see what I'm getting at? So uh, I reckon I'm gonna do that real quick and then uh, mess around with this. Uh, <laughs> y'all painting ain't my forte, but uh, I reckon I'll give it a shot. All right, y'all. Oh, 
Oh yeah, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah, I'm going nowhere. This won't take but a second with my key. And what I've done is basically I'm going by where I've already screwed at, and I know there's a two before in there, so I just come down about a half inch or so and just put the Makita to it, baby. Okay, y'all, we've done our pilot holes. We're going to drill it in there. So, I already drilled the other one in, but the daggone star key fell out, so. Alright y'all, now these things are freaking secure. Look at this. I mean it this is you could use this in the Olympics for one of them Puma horses for them gymnastic dudes to get on here and do them flips and stuff. Alright y'all, let me do the other one, that's over. Okay y'all, let's uh, get after it. Okay, y'all, I got that one in right there, and I'm going to get this one in. Now, what we've done doing this is this entire piece here, this cap board, the side railings, and the safety rail is incorporated. It's, it's one piece of lumber now, or one unit. into a six by six. We're on our final rail here and uh, what we've basically done doing this by joining these together I guess I explained it over there but what we're doing is like I said we've got the 45s here the 45s down below. We took and we put uh, two befores underneath our safety rails itself. So basically what we have is our cap board is joined into the two befores. Our rail is joined into the two before 45s. Now we're going to join the rail and everything together. So this is going to be one unit. So this is like one entire piece. So man, it's going to be tighter than Dick's hat, man. All right, yeah. I'll shut the dag on Starkey to quit sticking it in there. Probably have to re putty again. Not the best putty, man. Not the best painter either. <laughs> Alright, y'all, let me get after it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I guess it takes several coats of this putty or I just wasn't doing it right or the fact that the putty was like eight or ten years old. I just went out and bought some this weekend when me and Carl and mom went up to uh, Lowe's. Look at the difference of that consistency. It's like it's like butter or something. Uh, the other stuff I could actually like roll it up in a ball. But uh, anyway, uh, like I'm telling you, uh, you know, I can, I can frame stuff up and I'm good at that. But when it comes to puttying and uh, painting, if I actually put it this way, you know how people have like them painting parties where, you know, I buy the pizza and I buy the beer and you come on over and help me paint my apartment room and yada yada yada. Well, they actually buy me pizza and beer to stay away. Okay. <laughs> all right, man. Let me uh, let me butter this up a little bit. Okay, y'all. I figured I'd give y'all a big laugh, but uh, uh, I figured I was gonna apply it like that old body putty. Heck with it. Uh, I can always sand that stuff off. Um, actually, it went on a lot better being it was new. It went on like butter, man. Uh, and I don't know if you remember last time, it, it started cracking right from the get-go, so. Anyway, uh, 
Reckon that's another day or so to set up. So I'm reckon little brother's gonna come out and do some tile work tomorrow. So I might play with this again and uh, reckon we'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, y'all. We got all our uh, tree trimming done today. Uh, got Mama's flowers over there looking real nice. Uh, there's my Edward Scissorhands uh, job over there. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I usually, you know, I do the big stuff and then Mom enjoys doing her little flyers and stuff like that so I'll dig the holes and do the trimming and uh, she's the one with the green thumb so you get a little shot of what we started with this morning over here uh, yeah those turned out real good oh yeah and uh, here earlier you know I was saying she uses pine straw instead of mulch and it really looks real good um, I think she takes it to the next level and she'll just thatch it out here like this really really pretty neat so uh, anyway I reckon uh, thanks for watching and we'll holler at you soon all right y'all bye okay y'all uh, wasn't really uh, exciting today I uh, took you with me to uh, get Sarge's shots and then uh, did a little tree work out front for mom and uh, you know dug a couple of holes and whatnot and you know just basically did what the man does around the house you know what i mean and uh got back here and uh it was bugging me a little bit about having everything all together and basically those last screws that i put in here tied the whole rail into one unit okay but anyway uh, yeah and i wanted to really sand on that for y'all and uh, actually get a coat of coat of stain on there and make it look you know make it look good and everything but time got away from me and plus uh, my caulking skills really suck so uh, <laughs> I think it might have had something to do with that old Elmer's too I had some old Elmer's wood putty it was probably I don't know maybe 10 years old uh, it, you could actually like roll it into a rope when you open the open the top and on the stuff I got now that uh, me and mom and Carl picked up over at the uh, over at the Lowe's when we got the uh, eight and a half inch deep uh, new kitchen sink and the dishwasher, new dishwasher whirlpool. Uh, it was actually almost soupy, you know, not quite soupy, but sort of soupy. But uh, I went to sand on that and with the old stuff I put in there last time and it just started cracking and oh my God, it was nasty. So uh, I pulled, got all that crap out and I went ahead and uh, used that new Elmer's. And I know it's not the best looking in the world either, but it went on a lot better, guys. It went on like butter. And uh, I'll just have to back up and punt, and that'll be a, another project there to uh, get some stain and everything on it. Got little brother coming out tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon sometime maybe, and he's gonna actually cut some tile up uh, where the new uh, kitchen cabinet doodahs are going. And uh, so I might come out here and put her around while uh, he's doing that if I don't get a call. All right, y'all. Y'all, I really appreciate you watching, and uh, reckon I'll holler at you soon. All right, bye.